me in his own image but when I look into the mirror I can hardly denote his image in my image portrayed in the mirror maybe it's because I'm still living in the early stone age because I'm really a broken human the image that God created in his own image has been broken so Christ's image can no longer appear through my image oh have lived a life of shame pain and disgrace though I've taken your mace and grace for granted but please I beg gay me out of this mess. So I was deep in the trash of the world had transformed my body, which is the temple of God, into devil's playground. Plus, I'm not perfect. My face is not dry, so my naked eyes were enticed by the naked pretoric soul. I became addicted to pornography. Started to practice everything that I was watching. So I, Peter and there, started fornicating. But I've now realized that all the treasures and pleasure of the world without gold is vanity. So please God, accept me right in your arms. So when darkness seems to veil your face, I promise to rest on your unchanging grace. Having no better place to stand on in this world, so I choose to stand on unbreakable promises. Rendering my whole life in the precious hands of my Lord Jesus Christ. So whether death visits me today, I'm not scared. Cause with God in my grave, it's nothing but a short, better race because my hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. It's pathetic, gazing on how I was swept away by madness, brightness, though the faith of authenticity in the ancient ways, willpower, numb by burning passions for mundane pleasure, garavanting and vulgar attitude, uttering malicious speeches, speaking the native language of loot. Always covered in full uniform of blood, spending carelessly like the most sun. Always fighting with duty, escaping and smoking gun. I wandered like clouds on top of a mountain peak. Always digging disaster, going hard part by cafe on the peak. I trampled over life in triumph of foolish faith. But by the double-edged sweat from the mouth of the omnipresent God, the word that pierced deep to cut the dark shadow over my soul, bent down evil principalistic that made me for billions of time to live in severe pain like legion. Your love redeemed the light that shines throughout my path. Wrong. Come closer to me for you rescued me when I had unstable belief. In you, I discovered how to breathe a sigh of relief. The tribulation of holy creatures over repentance. Never let it be spoiled by any chance. Teach me with knowledge. Humble me with wisdom. Fill me with understanding. Help me to escape snares. Jump over traps. Ignore temptation through the Holy Spirit. Lord, let you only guard me jealously. I'm back to your feet. Make me gentle as a dove. Because... My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus is right and righteousness. Shh. I have something to share with you all. Given window. Given window. He called me with a voice loud and clear. But I lived in ignorance. I wasn't aware that from him oozes all the goodness and safety. I didn't even dare to glance. Because to him I turned the deaf ear. I moved about this world driven by sin, yes, drifting myself away from him. But just like so, I was also struck and there was light into my soul. When all these are the ground, the sinking sand, on the rock I stand. I broke through them that hindered me from going unto him. And just like that woman, I'm healed because I touched his hem. He promised to be with me day and night. Jesus Father promised is never lie. He's the God that has kept me up right every morning, every day. He's my fountain of life where I tap without strife. And so this smile that everyone sees is because of his promises that are true and yes. And I stand here courageously as given to show everyone that 
My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' life and righteousness.